Montreal, South Carolina. And I'm fixing to show you the oldest graveyard. A lot of people don't realize it's here. If you're a local, you will should understand there's Brady's. But here's the oldest cemetery in Montreal, South Carolina. Mary Caroline Ellerby. 1832. It's a whole family. Ellerby family. Poe, P-O-W-E, born 1818, died 1820. This is all before the Civil War. And this one's been busted into. This one has no marker. And judging by the size of this, it was a baby. I think it says L-O-T-T-I-E, so it's obviously Lottie. But this is the oldest cemetery in Sherrill, South Carolina, and a lot of people don't even know it's here. This in person was born in 1768. And they died 1831. It was erected by the love and affection to the memory of General Ursima Poe, a member of the Protestant Episcopal Church who was born November the 12th, 1768, and died September 28th, 1831. Sacred to the memory of Mary Poe, daughter of W.E. and E.S. Poe, born November 1818, and died August the 2nd, 1820. Early bright transition chase is morning dew. She sparkled was exalted and more went to heaven. Amelia, daughter of John and Martha Ellerby, who departed this life September the 5th, 1821. She was eight months and 19 days. That's sad. Memory of Thaddeus, Son of Mark of John and Martha Ellerby. Seven months. Died February the eighteenth, eighteen twenty-three. And this is Martha Ellerby, who departed this life on. September the 18th, 1829, and she was 33 years and nine months. The memory of John, the infant son of John and Martha Ellerby, who departed this life September the 26th, 1829, he was 14 days old. That's so sad. Memory of Mary Carolyn Ellerby, who departed this life May the 15th, 1832, age 29 and seven and a half months. It is so sad. This is a whole cemetery plot. The LRB and Poe, and these are the people that actually were here at the almost at the founding of Terrell, South Carolina. So may they rest in peace.